healed up. You're good to go. You're good to go. Alright. Lucius! Obliterate them! Mm. Take a mulligan on that one. B. Regal Blade. Overkill. You missed. Try again. You can't. Only your resistance and or defense were higher. Jesus. You missed. I have a Fimble Vetter too. I just can't use it. Take that! So much damage. Oh. Oh well. Nice. Your blade in hand, one shot. You're done with it. You're done with your antic na antics now, and we'll just do a little bit of that. Okay. All right. We want to get Hector, Lynn. Hollywood up there. Actually makes my job easier. What? <laughs> Boom! One shot. Wow, Raven. Timing, buddy. Let's look at Nurgle. He has Arish Kigal. Really powerful magic. <laughs> An avar avaricious fiend who turns death into power. And he's a, a dark druid. Again, the only dark wrong. Well, kind of. No, 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 no. There are two dark druids in the game. Bramamond is one. Even though he's. Even though, for some reason, in the coding, they have a Bramamond class. I, because I guess it's just slightly different can, between good and evil. A master druid whose heart is bound in darkness. Also, Dark Druid is also um, master all four. Yeah. It's 30 resistance, 30 magic, 28 defense. Yeah. When they said that ordinary people couldn't harm him... They we're kidding. But we're going to try anyway.
First off... Oh, he actually doesn't double Ellie Wood in this one. Uh, then Ellie Wood will get the last shot. Um... Persona. Can't do anything. Just stay off to the side. Raven... Wow! Raven can actually do some damage. Alright. Alright, you're gonna... Does Lagola have anything to say? Well, Lego certainly can't do anything. Let's heal Lego. Ah, uh, oh crap. Oh wait. Wait, I have... I have rewinds! Aw, oh, one out of range. Okay. Nope, this is the generic. Be prepared. You are to be witness to a power that overwhelms all. Let's see the Arishka Gull animation. Like I said, really powerful. There's near there's Nurgle's battle sprite. Looks pretty cool. Is that you, Jafar? Turning your sword against me, your master. Do not for do not forget who raised you. You are worthless. Wrong. I am a man. Oh really? If so, I'll give you a man's death. Nurgle, do you remember? You are, you're not. So I was still eking out a you're still eking out a rich existence. I went astray. I listened to your honeyed words. I dreamt of the impossible, the return of a lost soul. But what you gave me was a puppet. It was soulless, nothing more than an empty vessel. Just an empty vessel? Is that what you wanted? You desire to bring back your dead fragment. You were my experiment, and I completed my morph. I'm grateful, or not. Thanks to you, I gained power. You villain, you cursed him! Your crimes can never be forgiven! In the end, I will end you with, with my hands, in the name of my lost friends! No? Uh, who do you think you are? You will pay! You stole my family from me, and you will pay, Nurgle! I will avenge them all! Now I see. You're so nice. I've never tried this. I don't know if he has text with Nils. Only one way to find out. Nope. Wait, I want to see the stats. Oh, yeah, he could actually hit Nils. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Let's just rewind there. Alright. For real this time. First off, Athos. Do a big chunk. Can we do a little less? <laughs> Can we do a little less? Um. Sokati. Wow, the Sokati can't do anything. Oh, Lin. Oh well. No, actually, then Lin will just be first. Little girl from Sakai, you did well to vanish. One such as you is no match for me. The ma nomads of the plains do not abandon their fellow tribespeople. Elliewood and Hector are my dear friends. Their sorrow is my sorrow. Their anger is my anger. Pa! Nergo, in my friend's name, I will cut you down with nothing. You got a little boob physics there. Um, a little jiggle physics. Mm 
<laughs> she does look good in that dress, though. Okay, how much does Hector do? Fifteen. All right. Well, let's see. Let's do some damage to him. Nurgle. <laughs> Athos. Take a good look at me. At my tremendous power. Already words are useless. As an old friend, I will fulfill my duty. I was gonna laugh if he got a critical. It's like, it's mine and mine alone! Next up, we're going to use Hector. Can you get behind him? Shit. Can you do damage to him regularly? Not really. Um... Let's just get back there. Want Ellie to get the last hit though? Hold on, how much does Ellie would do? Sixteen. This is fifteen, sixteen, thirty-one. There's twelve damage to him in the meantime. It's eleven. Do 12 damage normally? Or no, just with the Rhine Fleck. Alright. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that in a bit. Nurgle! Cannot understand you, Hector of Ostia. Why would you do all of this for Elliewood? This is a miserable thing called friendship worth dying for. I don't expect you to understand. You've forget forgotten what it means to be human. Nurgle, my connection to you, it's over. I'm finishing everything right up right here. Nurgle! So you've come, Hector of Ostia. Your existence itself was my greatest mis miscalculation. If it had only been Elliewood, this could have been over. So, my little miscalculation, I will erase you, and leave no trace remaining. Do your worst! Okay, how much does he do now? Still 16. Alright, so I need 12 damage solid. No. No. Maybe. It's 4, 8. Being on a critical from Rebecca. Oh crap, no, 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 back up.
hurts. Help me out here. Nope. Lucius, was it established that you couldn't do anything? Well, you can, but... At what cost? Um... No hope of a critical either. I'm a lot of time, I'm a lot of options. Killing Edge, Light Brand, Brave Sword, none of them do anything. I wonder. Here, have a lightning. Give me that regal sword. And you can't use it? Nope. I just... Uh... Wait, where's that Excalibur? Can Excalibur do anything? One. Ah, uh, boy. I guess Rebecca's getting the last hit. Did you know, Annie Woods, what happened to your friend Hector? What he was thinking as he fought by your side? <laughs> it's a pity. If he'd only been free to return to Ostia. I know that I've caused my much pain for my friends. That is why. I will not lose here today. Nurgle! So you're here, Elliewood. I thought losing Ninian might distract you. Have you forgotten her so quickly? How heartless. I haven't forgotten. I'll never forget. It was my mistake that killed Ninian. Because of that, I will fight. I will not run away and hide in sorrow. I'm going to put an end to all of this. Let's end it off! Why? Why must I lose? Ugh, not like this. I will not die like this. My last breath tremble and despair. Why? Why must I lose more power? I must be stronger. I... Why? Why did I want power? Quintessence. Don't understand, but... Ugh, not like this. I will not die like this. With my last breath, tremble and despair. <laughs>
Nils, what is it? I don't know. Why am I crying? Don't worry. You've been through a lot. It's just relief. You've done well, haven't you? Alright, so just to break in the text here for a minute, going on. on uh, so, I will label which conversations are Hector, well, against Nurgle or Hector mode and which ones are Ellie Wood mode so you guys know. But um, they actually change in between, well, some of them. At least for the three lords, they change. The conversations change a slight bit um, between Hector mode and Ellie Wood mode. And, um, this is, uh, another thing that happens. Nurgle's ending text and what happens after Nurgle's death actually changes. Um, you get this full thing, uh, when you do the three Kashuna chapters in 19 double X. Um, and then we will see, or have already seen, uh, what happens when you just play through Hollywood mode. <clears throat> Everything's okay. The world's been saved. And I know that Nadine is happy too. What was that? What on earth? What happened? Can't be. Oh! Th those are... Dragons? Nurgle's final warning. This is what he meant! What a calamity! Dragons return to this world. The continent will be ashen less than a month. I'll stop this. I'll show you! It's... finished. Yes, at long last, Father. What was that? What on earth? What happened? Can't be. No. Oh. Th those are dragons. That was final warning. This is what he meant. What a calamity! If dragons return to this world. The con continent will be burned to ash in less than a month. This must end at any cost. I will stop it. So these are dragons. Look at the size of them. I've got a bad feeling about this. My legs are trembling just standing here. There are three of them. I don't know if we can do this. We need some kind of help. I'm doing what I can. I'll hold the dragons. Strike there. So powerful. Can they be stopped? Lord Athos, flee! The dragons are getting closer. We can't stop them here. We are lost. Bramament! Preparations took a time. Okay. I require everyone's strength. Gather here to the legendary power. I have, I, I have no idea what happened there. Uh, this light. What, uh, what, what is it? Look there. Bring her back. Let the dragon girl's soul be restored. Ninian! Uh, Ninian. Where... Where am I? Girl with the exalted... Girl with the exalted blood of the dragons. Use that power to appease them. It's not possible. Use my power in this world? That was not the voice I gave her. Do not... 
Do you not feel it? The power returning. What? Uh, yes. I will try. That's enough. I'm so sorry. This is not your fault. I'm sorry. No. No more. Minion! It's okay, she only fainted. Thank goodness. Minion. One dragon still remains. Leave the girl to me, I still tend to her. Chosen ones, you must stop the final dragon! You must save us all! Alright, now these actually count as two different chapters, so if you want to build up any supports, you actually still have two chapters to do it. Remember what I said before about uh, Nils, uh, you know, having been required and if he was killed? If he is killed before the final chapter, you can have another character in the first chapter. For some reason, in the second chapter, that character will actually be put aside and unusable in this one. So, just remember that. Um, we have nothing left to do but to finish the dragon off. I'm going to be using a strategy that I personally enjoy. First, all these things that we never used. We're going to power up Athos. And you see over there, the dragon doesn't seem to have any help. In reality, it's actually over, what was it, like 70 or 80, whatever the max is. Um, but the, the dragon actually has 120 health. Oh, it's so cool. Arr! See, now the dragon has 90. Dragon? Is used flame tongue, dragon's breath, which burns all it touches. There is no protection. And it's just pure damage. It will do 37 damage purely to everybody. But oh my gosh, look at that. However, speed is low. Anyway. Wandering dragon that breached the, that breached the dragon's gate. An ancient hateful dragon that survived the scouring. Oh, Lin. For some reason, you just... Lin could do five damage to it before, but... Hector? Dragon, oh, also, the dragon has 1 to 3 range. 1, 2, 3. Alright. Drop him there. Uh, no, we'll go back there. Then Lucius is going to heal him up again. Well, not all the way, it seems. Okay. And then we're going to end the turn. Now, we do have these annoying sages on the side. That will constantly try to pick us off. Don't worry about them. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's really no trouble at all. And this guy will have a sleep stave. Yeah, it's gonna affect Raven, but... We really don't need all these characters for this part of the chapter. We only need our four heroes. Okay. Same plan again. Oops, that's not it. Phil, Phil is might. Okay, yeah. I'll use Aureola, uh, Aureola again. This is a very unique type of enemy because it actually has coverage for all of the weapons that exist in the game except bolting or whatever but you know with the resistance like that I don't think bolting would do any damage anyway oh Gasp Gaspence actually does mm, anyway. So you do 20, alright. And how much do you do, Elliewood? 21. Okay. <sighs> I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Okay. I want to make sure that somebody can... Um, man, how much constitution does this guy have? Or eight? Eight? Only eight? Eh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Blah 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 bolting. Blah 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 purge. Blah 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 purge. Oh okay. yeah. Blah 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 sleep. Doesn't matter. None of that matters. <laughs> Nils, where are you? Whoops. Wait a minute. Do you have any critical on the dragon thus far? No. Alright. Nah, then it's not gonna really do anything. Thirty-one. We'll have Lin face the dragon for shits and giggles. Actually, you know what? Lin be able to damage the dragon. The soul cotty. Let's get that critical. Nope, okay. Athos will do a little bit. So we'll have the final four blows be that of our heroes. Heh, <laughs> it runs. Whoopsie. Don't know if that cut the recording or not. I accidentally clicked something else. Whoops. Hector with the Armads. Oh my gosh, he has a one percent chance of critting. 
And let's finish it off <laughs> with the gavin. With Ellie Wood. Rapier? No. Alright. Enough messing around. Let's finish this off. I don't think so. I know exactly how to get... Excuse me, Mr. Dragon. That's not how it was supposed to go. I need somebody with enough health. Okay. Now, for real this time, let's finish it off! Nothing can ever go my way at the end of these series, or at any... ...big moment. Jeez. Ellywood. Ellywood. What, Ellywood? I'm here. I'm right here. Ellywood, are you alright? Yes. Thanks to you, Hector. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. I truly thank you. Nitty. I don't need your thanks. Friends help friends. Well done, brave successor to Roland's. It's finally over. Finally everything is... Greybeard! <laughs> Looks like I've exhausted my strength. I I'll die before you, friends. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Hollywood. Hector, Lynn. I've lived a long, long time, but now I'm done. Do not grieve. Soon, I will be with long absent friends. I have no regrets. But Athos. Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why? Why is this not now? Neither Bremerman nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burn. All of the Libe will once again awash in blood. But do not fear. Once again, Lycia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lord Athos, even at the end, he thought of us. Greybeard. Look, both of you. Lord Athos. It's almost though he's smiling. I just 
world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end, a saving light shall rise. Nidian! Lord Elliewood. Good to see you, Nidian. Lord Elliewood, I worried you. Um, I... I... wish to apologize. What? What do you mean? I was the cause for all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. An Indian? Here in Alibe, we were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out, not a day passed that I did not think of it. Memories of my mother and my father, of my home. I yearn to see it once again, our homeland. Those children, the fire dragons, they were like me. We knew that it was forbidden. And yet, we answered Nurgle's call and opened the, opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elliewood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together and think about the future. If the entire continent were made a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia, what a wonderful world that would be. <laughs> but that's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we, we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from the that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be! Lord Elliewood, I am truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please. Please, don't forget me. Ninian! Come, Nils. Let us go. We must return to our world. Lord Elliewood. Lord Hector. Lady Lynn. Thank you. My, opinions, my opinion of humans has changed since meeting all of you. There are humans in the world we're returning to, as well. Finding a way to live together may be hard. But we're going to try. Okay, good luck. I'll miss you. Take care, both of you. 
Thank you. Be well, everyone. This world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end, a saving light shall rise. Ninian! Lord Ellywood. I'm so happy. I can't believe you're back. <laughs> I feel like this is all a dream. Once I lost you, I knew for sure. I need you. I want you by my side forever. But Ellywood? I... I must go home. What do you mean? I'm the cause of all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Ninian? Here in Olibe, we were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out. Not a day passed that I did not think of it. I yearned to see it once again, our homeland. Those children, the fire dragons, they were like me. We knew that it was forbidden, and yet we answered Nurgle's call and open the gate. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Minion, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Ellywood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together. And think about the future. If the entire continent were made a place where dragons and humans could live together. Like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia. What a wonderful world that would be. But that's certainly something that won't happen for a long long time so we we can't stay here the gate is still open if it remains so other dragons will certainly pass through before that happens we must return to our world must regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be! Lord Ellywood, I'm truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please don't forget me. Ninian! Come, Nils. Let us go. We must return to our world. Nian. The air of this world. It's changed so much from what we knew. No matter how much time passes, our strength will never return. If we stay here, we will not survive long. 
Mills? Why do you... But even knowing that, your life will be short. Minion, you truly wish to remain here, don't you? I understand. Stay here. Stay with Lord Elliwood. Nils? Lord Elliwood. Minion. No. My sister. Please cherish her. I will. I will make her happy. I swear it. Nils, you... Are you... Mm. I'm going alone. I want to live a long time. I don't have your curiosity. Nils... Okay then, I'm going. Be well, Nils. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. Nils. Don't cry, Nanian. Even, even if we're apart, even if we never see each other again, a bond will never, ever be cut. More importantly, sister, live as long and be as happy as you can for as long as you can. Nils! Thank you, Nils. Oh! Daybreak! Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> the start of another day! Minion. You'll come with me, won't you? Yes! Um, before we get into the epilogue, um, that extra bit of text where the Nitty and, and Nils go back and forth, um, that's only unlocked where Ellie Wood and Nitty have an A-rank support. This is the canonical true ending. Um, I'll tell a little bit more about it, uh, during the credits, but, uh. Just know if you if you wanna if you wanna get that extra bit you uh well you know you know what you gotta do anyway let's move on to the epilogue. Oh, Robert, you made it. Come, relax. What? You came to say goodbye. I haven't seen you in so long, and you're leaving? Hmm? Oh, you heard too. Now the word of my brother's death has spread. The throne can't be left empty forever. Being the leader of all of Lycia doesn't really suit me. My brother let me play around for quite a while. If I don't grow up soon, my brother won't be able to rest. The burdens Uther carried as Marcus Ostia. His, his feelings for the citizenry of Ostia and of all of Lycia. I'll succeed him at everything. easy to say, but I'm sure it's going to be difficult. But Hector... Uh, Robert... It's nice to see you again. Ah, oh, but... Robert's not here for long, though. Some friend, huh? 
is that so? Ah. Uh, uh, Robert. I. We. Oh, out with it. I'll ask for you. Just say it. Okay. That's not... Listen, Robert. We've got a favor to ask of you. This may seem somewhat premature. But would you be our first child's godparent? Please? Hector and I... We would never have met were it not for you. If it's a boy, we're gonna name him Uther. After my brother. I'll teach him how to fight. And raise him to be a strong man. We'll pit him against Eliwood's son to see who's the strongest. Um, so, Robert, if it's a girl... Are you leaving? Say, Robert. Do you remember Athos's final words? I see our mads away like it used to be, but... Still feel its power pulsing inside me. War is coming. Someday, a terrible war. When that day comes, I want you to be there with that day comes. I want you to guide my children and me. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. <laughs> so here you are, Robert. Yes, here I am. Will you attend my ascension ceremony? Yeah, but I would have to leave. Well, Hector and everyone else is coming. I would have to leave afterwards. What? These clothes. <laughs> I look silly, don't I? Formal dress is so stiff. I can't stand it. Ah. Everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as Marcus Ferre. I don't know if I'm equal to the task, but I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. Robert, you... Do you really have to go? No, I understand. I'm sure that you have things you must do. Thank you for supporting me in everything. Lord Ellywood. Here I am, Ninian. <sighs> Hello, Robert. Um, Lord Ellywood. Is Robert... Robert will be at the ceremony of Ascension. But must leave shortly af thereafter. Is that so? I'm disappointed. Robert, I want you to know something. When things are a little more settled, Ninian and I plan to be married. And this may be a bit premature, but... Robert, we'd like you to name our first child. Wait, what? Ninian and I talked it over. You've done so much for us, and we truly want this. Please, Robert. Well, okay. <laughs> so, Robert, this is farewell. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't... This world wouldn't be here. 
You have my heartfelt gratitude. Robert. I see you again. It's a promise. My friends. Oh. <laughs> I don't do good with ends of games. Oh my god. I am actually really upset that Fire Emblem 7 is the only one that does this mechanic. That includes you as a character. I mean, obviously hacks do it, but they're all hacks of Fire Emblem 7. No official... Well, no, that's wrong. Bite me. Uh, Fates and Awakening do that too, but, well, they provide your lines for you, you know, you, you, you get that, but still, I, I'm very upset that they, they don't do that, but, yeah, here we are at the end, it took way longer than expected to finish this, but, well, that was, a. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's, it, it's done, and, I have to say that even to this day, this is my favorite game in the series. It just makes me feel like I'm a part of the game, and that's something that I really appreciate from games overall. Um, okay, so with this, and we, we have all the turns up here. You can see, turn yeah, the hundred turn ones, you'll know that I was grinding in the arenas. Um, so, here's the thing. With uh, this screen, because there are a couple different endings for a couple of characters, I'm going to be putting Hector's and, and Ellie Wood's versions both together. They're not going to be in the same character at the same time, so if you need to pause it, feel free. But uh, that way it will just be easier to see the endings of both of them. And I'll label them, don't worry about it. Um, while this is going on, because I'm not going to read every one of them, uh... Oh, what I wanted to say about uh, the Ninian ending. So, as I said, all of the endings that I have done um, in this playthrough, whether it's through Hector mode, Elliewood mode, whatever, I've gotten to it one way or another. These are all canonical endings. Um, what I mean by that is that they actually do transfer over into Fire Emblem 6, which is why I wanted to you know, at least get the, the supports up so it would make sense as a continuation. And also, they do include a lot of these pairings in, um, in, uh, Fire Emblem Alibian Knights, which is a hack by Ephraim226. Um, which is what I'm going to be doing after this, but, you know, I, I, I want to take a week or two off before I start, well, maybe a week or two, we'll see. The ideal situation is take a week or two off in between games, but I may want to do it right away. Um, Ninian ending. At first, I had no idea of it. I, it was very, 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 very sad. And from the beginning of the game, I knew that Elliewood and Ninian had to be a couple. They just had to be. And, um... Well... The bottom line is... I had done this the first time, I had gotten the normal ending, which you saw in, in Hector mode, um, and was disappointed. I felt like there was something missing from it, so I, I went, um, I went online and, and searched it up or whatever else, and my, my jaw dropped, and I'm not quite sure if anybody was out of the house at that point, but I think I screamed like, WHAT?! <laughs> so, obviously I went back and gotten that ending and I was a lot more happy with it because it just made a lot more sense. Um, so like I said, that's canonical, that's going to transfer over into Alibian Knights, which is kind of an, uh, a hack that takes place in between uh, the games to kind of fill in the gaps between 7 and 6. Uh, you know, we'll get to see our favorite characters again and 
of them. We'll see some of them have grown a little bit. Custom spite sprites, yada yada, you, you, you know the deal. I actually had put up a video from it already, and that was the, um, the, the glitch with the, with the thief. If any of you haven't seen that, I'll put it below in the description. Um, but, um, why don't I even start with this game? This game is a masterpiece. This game is actually the second game that I finished. I actually finished Sacred Stones before I finished this, this game. But, I believe this was the first Fire Emblem game that I had ever played. Uh, I can't... Oh. Sorry, I, I've never seen this one. They offered to rebuild Raven's home, but Raven refused. He and Lucius traveled as mercenaries, but Lucius is pleased to see his friend's heart has been eased. I've never seen that one before. I'm sorry. Um, I got distracted. Um, yes, Kanas actually... What I like about this game is that you don't pick all of the pairings. Some of the pairings are actually already in there, like Pent, Pent and Louise. Um, Dorcas has his wife. Um... And Kanas has his wife. Uh, and once again, this transfers over all into six. And I'll probably be bringing a lot of these points up when I play that game. But, you know, I gotta get mentally prepared for that. Uh, six, uh, as I said before, is a Japanese only release. Which means it is ex it's so much harder. For some reason, that they made the, um, just the mechanics overall just different. Um, I need to search up everything and do research, yada, 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 but, um, just one last thing on the, oh, okay, Nils vanished through the gate in order to seal it from the other side. Those who saw him go will never forget his look of sorrow. Oh, that was another thing. This makes you feel so bad. <laughs> It makes you feel so bad because it, it, it makes you feel like you took something away from Nils, but at the same time, um, <sighs> you took something from Nils to to have Ellie would be happy, but in typical Fire Emblem fashion, no, there can be no true happy ending. And actually, this is a very realistic situation in terms of game game to real life ratio. I'm gonna put that in in quotes because it shows that it's war, and no matter how hard you try, even if you have save states and use them like I did, even if you try, there's really no happy ending. Somebody's always gonna lose somebody else, like. Well, like with Nils losing Ninian in order to try to make the main protagonist happy. So... I mean... I just... I like the music of this game. I like the gameplay. Even though Hector Hard Mode was a bitch. And, I mean, you saw... Um, you, you, you saw in a couple of the chapters that were Hector only how ridiculous it was. Um, I also didn't pair Harkin and Isadora like I meant to, but whatever. Um, Nino and Urk are actually a canonical couple, but Nino and Jafar actually made more sense. That's why I, I did that. Like I said, they're canonical. It's going to give the same thing where. Nino had... That's a graphics thing. Her her lips are a lot more red and not really colored in. Her... It's not... Well, whatever. Um, her, her mouth outline. Uh... And... I like how... With... Fire Emblem mechanics in general... Um... You, you get the supports to bring out the characters a little bit more. Depending on who you support with, it could be some troubled past, trying to break them out of their shell. 
and you just get more story with the supports. And, I mean, sure, sometimes you have to research to make sure which, which one's the best. I didn't do supports... I want. I want to put a put in a disclaimer. I did not do supports, um, to for for stat wise. I did supports for canonical and for getting more story. And also, I mean, <laughs> okay. Well. I'm not the one with the shipping problem, Smiley and Nepeta are, but, you know, I have a little bit of picking in there for Fire Emblem, at least. A brief life with Elliewood. They had a son named Roy, which will one day, one, who will one day take up arms to defend the nation. Well, I've rambled on long enough. I don't know if I got any point across, but thanks for listening anyway. Tactician vanished after the final battle. Burn, Lycia, and Atruia all sought the same skills, but none ever found the tactician. So... We're not going to be there in person, in game wise, but we're going to be there in spirit for the rest of the games. Thanks for coming, Elliewood. Hector, long time to see. <laughs> Hector! Sorry. First time since my brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. And look at us. We've both grown older, haven't we? Uh huh. Time certainly does speed right by. My father's disappearance, his death, the fight with Nurgle, those fire dragons. The memories are so vivid. It might have happened yesterday. Nurgle, what a blackheart he was. I've had enough of battles like that. Hmm? Is that your son over there? I've been wanting to introduce you, but there's been no chance. Roy, come here. I'm not gonna give him a voice because, well, there's really no need to yet. Say hello to Marcus Ostia. That's what I named him. <laughs> Roy, is it nice to meet you, lad? Well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter then. So I named Elliewood's son Lilina. No, I didn't name Elliewood's son Lilina. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you being shy? You don't have to be nervous. Although in this day and age, it wouldn't be unacceptable. This is your father's old friend and his son. Hello, Lelina. This is Ellie. This pfft, this is Roy. He's the same age as you. Anyway, so I named Elliewood's son, but I'm Lelina's godparent. Okay. I could never be broken from the bonds of fate. It's okay. Go on. What a cute child. Good thing she took after her mother. What? She looks just like me, doesn't she? <laughs> You're a sarcastic one, Marcus Ostia. Come on now. You're the one putting on airs. Marcus Foray. <laughs> The only thing older about you was your parents. Don't tell me you still behave like that, even now that you are the Marquis. 
I'm always on top of my duties as Marquis. But when I'm around you, I want to relax, so please. Hector. By the way, I heard that the King of Bern died. It was fairly sudden, too. Can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt on Princess Zephyl. The prince? I trust he was unharmed. It's, stra it's a strange tale. At first, I'd heard that the prince was killed. Then new information came three days later saying that it was the king who had been killed. Do you remember Archstage Atherson's prediction? Is something happening in Bern? I don't know. Yes, go ahead. Be careful. For the sake of our children's futures, I'll stop anything that may happen. I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Lycia brings hope. Turns out to be wrong. No, it, it must happen. Who are you? Not a happy, uh, not a happy ending there. But, we've done it. We have finished Fire Emblem 7 completely. Took 44 hours and 18 minutes on this file, and 55 hours and 47 minutes on this file. You can see how much harder that this was. Even with save states. So... We got that little creepy, uh, creepy little ending into Fire Emblem 6, but we're going to take a little break. Let's take a little break from the main series and see what happens in between, well, basically within those 15 years that they had mentioned earlier. So, in the next episode of the Fire Emblem series, we're going to be moving on to the first episode of Alibian Nights. And we'll see you guys next time.